Hey everybody, just uh, doing an unboxing here of a Slot A bronze alto saxophone. So yeah, you can see it's packaged up pretty nicely here. Got the uh, mouthpiece and a reed attached to it. Not really a good practice, but yeah, it probably holds. It'll probably be playable at least if I put a different reed on it. Comes with its own box of uh, Chinese reeds here. Let's see, cleaning cloth, gloves. Okay, <laughs> some more relevant now. And um, this might be a strap for the case itself, but here's. Oh, th these are the straps for the case itself. That's probably the next strap. No, actually. Wow. Okay, it's just a really, really crappy neck strap. I wouldn't really trust it. <laughs> so, in a second, I'll open the horn up. Okay, so this is actually a uh, Muse Lady, Must Lady. It's really similar to the Slot 8 thing, except I kind of didn't notice that, at least on my Soprano. But then again, the Soprano has a different design up top there. Um, it has the abalone shell, um, you know, key pearls there. Mm -hmm. Looks like everything's in place. Yeah, so there it is. I removed all these uh, cork bumpers. Some of them gave me some trouble. I needed both hands to do that. Um, Seems seems like the action's okay. It's definitely not amazing, but all I care about is if it plays or not. <laughs> I can always bring it to a repairman. There's something a little iffy, but yeah, the G sharp seems to be coming out in the right direction. I'm like another bronze soprano that I brought <laughs> by, you know, uh, over a year ago. So that's a good sign. Ooh, okay, I might have to fix that up a little. Alright, so I fastened this mouthpiece onto the neck. Kind of trying to get around the halfway point, if not a little bit past. You know, I could always find out later if it's too sharp, then I pull out. If it's too flat, then I push in more. So eventually we'll mark a good place on that. And here's my Rigatti reed and the ligature, which I'm going to put on there right after. All right, so I fastened the uh, reed onto the ligature up here. You can see I'm just giving it a little bit of space up at the tip. 